Hello Virgo, welcome to your reading. Let's see what messages will show up for you today. Virgo, this is a collective message for your sign. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Anthony of Note. So please take what resonates and how it resonates for your overall situation. Let's see. Show me important messages for Virgo. What Virgo needs to know at this time, please. Thank you. So we have intuition, wishes, toxic, soulmate. Okay, so Virgo, if you have a specific question, the answer to this question is yes. Um, so it's like a positive answer. If there is something that is playing on your mind, it's like a reassurance here from the spirit that uh, things are just fine. It also, I'm getting that kind of energy of uh, trying to encourage you. For instance, if there is something that you would like to do and you have doubts, this card, you can see, it says on this card, it says, go for it, do it, no doubts. Okay, so that's quite nice. This is positive. This is very nice energy. You are very intuitive at the moment, therefore, it might be advisable for you, Virgo, to listen to your intuition, to reflect on certain things. And there is a sign that there is something that deeply inside you know. So if you are looking for answers regarding specific matter, um, it's like listen to your inner voice and because it's kind of guiding you in the right direction. It feels like you just, you know deeply inside. Uh, what's going on. We have wishes. It feels like um, your mat is here under a lucky star. This is a very, very positive card. It also shows that uh, you're manifesting your dreams come true and at the end you will get what you want. This is a nine of cups kind of energy. We also have uh, fulfillment attached to this, to this card. I feel that something will manifest um, or it's manifesting in your life and at the end it will make you feel very happy very very happy we have toxic so it feels like there is someone who is still energetically connected to you someone who might have a codependency uh, kind of a, who might be quite codependent let's say it that way who might have unhealthy uh, habits this person might be very controlling who has big ego and can be karmic we have also next to it energy of soulmate. I feel that you share very strong soul connection with this person. And it can be someone, for instance, uh, of romantic interest. It can be a friend. It can be a family member, relative or colleague. But um, uh, it feels that something is not quite right. I feel this is something with regards to, uh, for some of you, this is, like a toxic soulmate that has to do the work but um, I feel that this connection might be starting being a little bit too much this person might be too much uh, it's and, and you know the whole kind of dynamic it's a bit draining for some of you your soulmate here is involved with with karmic okay there is someone here in day life that might be quite toxic. Okay, so please take it how it resonates. We'll see. We'll see what Tara will tell us. But at the end of the day, you have very positive outcome here with this year's card, with wishes coming through. It's just this kind of element uh, might my, my need uh, more attention might be in need of, mo of more attention but let's see let's see show me Virgo please show me Virgo what's happening in Virgo's life show me important messages for Virgo please Virgo okay so we have nine of wands and nine of Swords. You might be seeing many synchronicities. Um, 
1999, yeah, might be quite significant. Um, 9th of September as well. I'm getting as a date. We have nine of wands and nine of swords. It feels like at the moment, Virgo, uh, there is something here that you might feel that you need to pay extra attention towards. It's like you don't trust a certain situation. And um, yeah, and it, it might feel with this nine of wands that you, there is something that it makes you feel that you have to be ready for anything. This is this kind of nine of wands with the nine of sort has one common thing it's energy of an anxiety i feel that there is something here that you don't trust um, it can be a person it can be a situation or it can be an environment that you've been put in but it's like you, i feel that you have your guard up and you're setting quite strong boundaries with the nine of swords there is something here that might be causing you stress and anxiety and worry or essentially you are losing sleep over this matter. Show me more. We have strength. You may be dealing with Leo, you're very strong though. Whatever this thing is, you are very, um, you are full of strength and courage and you will overcome it. We have a four of pentacles. I feel that uh, you try to keep those emotions for yourself. You don't, you don't want to share um, those concerns or, you know, um, something here regarding the situation with others. Mm-hmm. I feel that you are very selective with your energy, you're holding back. We have a page of swords. We have a ten of swords. and king of pentacles it feels like world at the bottom of the deck it feels like you just don't want to show that a certain situation might be um playing on your mind or might be causing you stress or uncertainty doubt with the four of pentacles mm -hmm. and then we have look we have a knight of swords and we have Ten of Swords and a King of Pentacles. There is someone here who is actively thinking about you, okay? This is someone who might be spying on you, you know, metaphorically saying, meaning they are watching what you're posting, they're watching your stories, they're watching your activity on social media. If you have social media, um, they try to figure out what's going on. And I feel this King of Pentacles wants, they, um, Malfi, Mal, please take it how it resonates, but this particular energy wants to know if, if, if you moved on or if you are unbothered or if you are bothered, something like this. They want to gain the information about how you feel about this whole situation because we have underneath it look we have a ten of swords and this is energy of ending something here ended i feel between this king of pentacles and you virgo there was an emotionally very painful ending and this person betrayed your trust but they are very very much thinking about you they are very curious what's going on in your life and if you are over it oh that's the right thing to say if you are over it because i feel that they are not and that's the thing the thing is that you don't show it even if you are not over it and even if you feel sorry even if you're still kind of going through this 
you know, process of healing. I feel that you are kind of um, holding back in a sense, you know, minding your own business, uh, uh, business as usual, you know, you, you, you're just focusing uh, on everyday life because you just don't want to give someone, I feel, a satisfaction or you just don't want to show especially this person or other people that might be in touch with this person that actually something here indeed might be still a uh, kind of um not fully healed or playing on your mind and because this person ca cannot see it they are wondering they are wondering with this page of with this page of uh, swords they are wondering they are thinking about you a lot if you don't have social media this is someone who wants to find out if you have you know common friends or the same circle of friends they might be from time to time asking uh, your friends uh, how you doing what's going on you know if it's not the case they are thinking they are thinking a lot and they are uh, they are thinking how if you are still, if you moved on, or if you are still kind of uh, thinking about the situation, but there was some sort of form of a, of an ending between the two of you, or there was like a falling out, and you are not on the speaking terms, and you are very cautious about this individual. You just don't trust them. It might be a karmic, a karmic soulmate toxic person here who acted in a certain way with the universe um, which is the world card I feel that some sort of form of completion of a certain cycle happened and I'm getting very strongly that you want to let go of it you do want to let go of it you don't mind letting go of it but it might need more time you might be dealing with Aquarius, Leo, Taurus, Scorpio, Virgo. But I'm also getting that someone here might feel unfinished business with you. They might feel that they have unfinished business with you. Show me love life. Show me love life for Virgo. At the moment, this situation might be quite challenging for some of you. Quite difficult, quite draining. But looking at these cards, things will get better, that's for sure. Show me love life, please, for Virgo. Show me love life for Virgo, please. We have the sun. We have Page of Pentacles, we have Strength, and we have Knight of Cups. So we have very strong Leo energy with Strength and Sun. Virgo, you might be dealing with Virgo. <laughs> with Virgo. You might be dealing with Virgo as well. I'm getting very strong uh, Crosswater energy as well. Hello, Crosswatchers <laughs> for Virgo. Let's see. Let's see, show me more about love life, please, for Virgo. We have an ace of swords and judgment. Scorpio energy. Okay. A hanged man at the bottom of the deck. Pisces energy. So you might be dealing with Pisces. Well, this is very, very interesting because you have very positive cards here. The sun is one of the most optimistic cards in the deck. It indicates that big amount of happiness, fulfillment and joy is on the horizon. We have princess, which is a page of pentacles, some sort of form of an offer it's coming in with the strength, it might require uh, so much strength here from someone and kind of courage to come forward. But I feel that uh, this person here who wants to make an offer, it's very diplomatic, it's not pushy. They know exactly what to say. We have a Prince of uh, Candles, uh, which is a 
which is a knight of wands someone is uh, incredibly drawn to you they they have very strong passion for you they like you a lot i would say that way we have an ace of war eight ace of swords so this is a communication someone here wants to clear the air with you and with the judgment yeah it's like they are having a wake-up call with the hanged man at the bottom of the deck this is someone who is um changing perspective with the judgment they are having a wake-up call indeed but i feel that at the moment there is no contact situation i'm getting that someone here wants some sort of reconciliation they want to apologize for their reckless behavior or for them being very in and out they want to come across differently with the strength for someone who is grounded who is um who is all about harmony who just differently because strength next to the knight of of wands it's a com completely different energy strength represents someone who is very down to earth and who's very diplomatic about things they know exactly what to say uh, the timing is right the tone of the voice is right you know someone who knows what's going on knight of wands is very it's very passionate but very inconsistent can represent someone who speaks before they think can have can have you know have a, a bit of a um, quick temper someone who when they are fully engaged and interested oh, they will give all all of the attention and then you know you might find themselves chatting with them uh, till five o'clock in the morning you know and you might feel that oh gosh this this connection is very intense because night of wands it's very intense very intense energy but for instance next day you might not hear hear from them at all and that's the dynamic that this energy is bringing and in your love life we have someone here who wants to clear the air with the judgment they want to resurrect something here meaning maybe someone here owes you an apology with the hanged man i feel that there is a no communication but son um with this uh, page of cups it feels like it's coming it's come, it feels like this person is ready and they are very optimistic about this whole situation they feel that they can really kind of uh they feel that you are willing to they feel that you will that you will give them another chance that's what i am getting or you will accept their apology or you will accept them somehow in your life please take it how it resonates but i cannot escape one thing here that there is someone else someone new coming with the sun and this page of pentacles because page of pentacles um indeed can represent a new energy new energy that it's coming to your life someone who's very optimistic they indeed can be a leo um this new person and someone who is very diplomatic about the whole I feel that this is someone who might be in a quite uh, who might be quite well off um, it's like this person uh, means business okay but you have someone here also who's been very inconsistent very in and out who wants to clear the air resurrect something with you and they want to see, they want you to see them differently therefore they when they communicate because it feels like they will uh you you might be quite astonished how this person is for instance uh, um, that they might be asking lots of questions the tone of the voice will be different or the tone of the conversation will be different like this person is very very mature whereas you know knight of wands doesn't represent that energy this is actually quite childish immature energy but either way with the sun this is someone who is full of optimism that actually, you know, things can work out between the two of you. I feel that overall, this new person, especially that it's coming to your life, uh, Virgo, or might already be in your life, uh, is bringing happiness or is about to bring so much positivity 
But something here, whatever the case might be, and if it's about this past person or this new person, I'm getting that you will have like a reasons to be happy with the sun. Something here, some sort of form of communication will make you feel really, really kind of joyful and satisfied. But there is someone here who wants to clear the air with you, who wants to be on a speaking terms. Show me near future. Show me near future here for Virgo, please. We have chariot, we have nine of pentacles, wow, seven of wands, and we have the devil. I see you doing very well financially. That's what I can hear very um, immediately. It's showing up in the near future. Uh, I'm seeing you doing very well financially. There is a sense of victory with the nine of pentacles. I feel that you might have uh, in the near future, you will gain something that it will give you a more financial freedom or you will feel that you have extra so you can kind of afford small things that, you know, or even big things that makes you, that will make you feel happier uh, or it's just you know this this nine of pentacles uh, can also indicate that having a little bit extra it will give you just a peaceful mind you know that you don't need to kind of from first to from first of 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 the month uh, till the till the first of a second month you know what i mean to because it's it's quite challenging i uh, I mean the the market is quite it's it's you know what I mean it's it's not easy let's say it that way and I feel with this nine of pentacles here you will have just extra more and you will be in a very comfortable position which is absolutely fantastic next to the chariot it's a big victory here for some of you if you entrepreneurs or if you are your own business, if you are on, if you're on boss, um, I'm seeing you achieving a success. The devil card also represents materialism. So it actually makes sense here that uh, financially you, you it feels like you will be doing very, very well in the near future. Overall energy, we have a king of swords. I feel because of your rational approach, you know, with the seven of wands, I'm seeing here that you are blocking any negativity because that's a card of blockage. The devil can represent negativity. Um, also this kind of toxic energy. And because you are very, very strong, you know exactly what you want. And it feels like you are very protective over this, uh, this success that is showing up for you. So this is really, really positive, very positive. So you can expect uh, that things will get better when it comes to finances. And actually your matters here under Lucky Star. I like that it's seven of, of uh, wands here and this energy because it's like you are blocking it. You are not allowing any negativity or any sort of, some sort of form of manipulation to come to your energy field. You know, it's like you are detaching from it, especially with the king of swords, because he, this is a king of detachment, you know. He or, you know, male, female, please take it how it resonates, but as, a, as an energy, he, he is not allowed, he, he, he won't allow any, any kind of manipulation to, to, um, to influence uh, a specific matter because um, he possesses clarity, he's very intelligent and he knows what this whole situation is about. King of Swords also can read very easily people or can um, judge certain situations based on logic 
and uh, clear thinking. And I, I'm getting that's your approach. That's why I feel that with the seven of wands, you are blocking whatever this this devil energy here. It's 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 kind of represent it's representing, and some sort of maybe form of negativity. Uh, people being jealous. It's like you are blocking it. It's the people. The, those energies don't have an access to you, so you are really really protected. You might be dealing with Capricorn. I also have Cancerian energy with chariots. Show me the outcome for the near future for Virgo, please. We have Wheel of Fortune. Eight of Cups and we have a Two of Swords. Okay. Queen of Swords at the bottom of the deck this time. So we have a Wheel of Fortune. With the Wheel of Fortune, you might be dealing with the fixed energy. So we have Aquarius, Leo, Taurus, Scorpio but also a Sagittarius is associated with this card. We have an Eight of Cups and the Two of Swords. It feels like um, in your outcome, some sort of kind of form of a choice is showing up. With the Two of Swords, uh, it's like um, at the, I feel that there will be a situation here that will resurface itself again, because with the Wheel of Fortune, something here wants to come back around, wants to repeat cycle with you, and this is hugely connected with some sort of event that someone walked away from someone or detached. Okay, and this person maybe hasn't been present for some time in your life. And with the two of swords, uh, it feels like when they uh, arrive or when they appear again in your life, uh, it might put you in this double edged sword situation, you know, at the crossroads. Uh, and you might be wondering what is the best thing to do. Should I give this person another chance or should I not? Um, I feel that you will be kind of uh, trying to kind of judge the situation in a sense of seeing a good side and bad side of, 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 uh, of, of this decision that you uh, will at some point most probably make. I'm also getting very strongly that, you know, at the very beginning when this person will arrive, I feel that you will not want it to deal with it. For some of you might have blocked this person with the two of swords. We have a queen of swords at the bottom of the deck as an overall energy. I feel that indeed you share very strong soul connection with someone. We had this King of Swords and Queen of Swords. And, you know, this is like, this is soulmate energy. But look at this Wheel of Fortune. This is like infinity sign, isn't it? And I feel that this is like a cyclical thing about this particular individual and momentarily you might feel that it's like being in a loop about this whole thing and i feel that there were many makeups many breakups and it feels like this person walked away or maybe you've detached emotionally from them please take it how it resonates and now with the will of fortune it feels like they are coming back but i don't feel that you are particularly open in your outcome uh, for you know welcome this person back to your life I don't feel this time and Queen of Swords here I feel that you are embodying this energy of Queen of Swords it's like I'm getting that at some point indeed you might be open for some sort of kind of small communication conversation with this person if they really insist of having one but um, yeah this is someone who needs to come with truth clarity uh, understanding and honesty otherwise if you spot any BS and I feel this person might have a tendencies to to kind of project 
that sort of kind of uh, insecurities uh, on this connection, uh, you will have no problem to completely detach from them. I'm seeing, you know, in your outcome, I'm seeing uh, you being at the crossroads and making a decision uh, regarding something that might require it from you walking away because the situation doesn't make you happy anymore or to stay and give something another chance. Okay. And yes, I was talking about this person because it kind of it's in the light it's it kind of makes sense with the whole reading and with the energy regarding your love life. But of course it can be about ev anything really, this choice. It's essentially, it's a general reading, so please take it how it resonates. But I feel that in your outcome, you, I feel that in the future, um, in the near future, there will be something that you, that you might need to make a decision uh, regarding something and it will put you in at the crossroads and it is something to do with walking away from something for good because that situation doesn't make you happy. Or, gi or to give or to repeat a cycle here or and give this 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 situation another chance but um, I'm s seeing this queen of swords I'm getting that you know exactly what you want and you possess clarity and you will make a rational decision based on logic and facts that that will that are presented to you and and known to you so there will be a there will be a time uh, I feel full of dilemma and and choices there will be a big choice here to make or you will face some sort of kind of choice but of course it's up to you what what sort of kind of direction you will choose but spirit here it's kind of emphasizing listen to your intuition okay you have very positive outcome you you know also there is this underlying kind of guidance go for it do it no doubts whatever that mean to you and um and i feel that you will make a decision based on on logic on logic and feelings will be put aside because you possess a clarity clarity regarding this particular matter and i feel that even more clarity uh, you will gain and it will kind of uh, convince you what sort of direction might be best for you and regarding this situation virgo i will leave it here thank you so so very much for being with me Please like, share and subscribe. Then once again, thank you very much for your time. I truly, truly appreciate you. Virgo, have a fantastic and wonderful day. And once again, thank you so, so very much for being with me and for your time. Take care. Love and light. Till next time. Bye.